Oh my God, a brand new kit. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. I've never been so happy in all my life. If you couldn't tell, I'm being a bit sarcastic. No, I am genuinely excited for the greenhouse kit. So we've got two doors. We've got a big door and a little door and they're both exactly the same. Oh, I like that that one's got the like panes on the swatches. So it seems like they've got a different version of each quite like that. We've got two windows which are the same. One is open and one is closed. I didn't think the dimensions through because we've got to make it equal. Oops. I genuinely really like that there's an open and closed version. I'll be honest, I do wish there was like a swatch where you could just do like one big one instead of having like a million little ones. I think it would have been a lot easier, but not a massive thing. Not a massive thing at all. This is our new wallpaper. It's called Greenhouse Wall. It's in green. It's in orange, but then we've also got like a slated one. I don't know why they didn't just make these like different things. I don't know why they're the same swatch because these two things here, right? These are very different from each other. I don't know why they didn't just make them like two different icons. I don't know why they're under the same because that's a little bit misleading because when you click on it in the thumbnail, it just looks green. You wouldn't know this is also behind it. I feel like they should have done it differently. Also in my world, all greenhouses don't have any walls. That's the point. It's all just made of glass, but there we go. I know you're all going to cream yourselves, all of your builders. You're going to cream yourselves over the brand new flooring. This is the first swatch. They've also got this swatch, which looks a little bit more, I don't know, detailed, mosaic-y, slightly different. We've then got the exact same in orange and we've got a darker orange and then we've got another darker orange without the pattern. So we got grey with no pattern, grey with a pattern, red with no pattern, red with a pattern, orange with no pattern and if you think I was going to say orange with a pattern, guess what? There's not. So I don't know why they did an odd number of swatches but there we go. I actually like these. I know you're all going to cream yourselves over them. I think it looks really, really great in a green house. I do like that. So here we've got a little potting table, I guess you could call it. We also have a platform up here, I guess just a shelf. There's also something here called a gardener's stand. Now I kind of wish they would have made this functional if you own seasons to make it for flower arranging or something. I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, we got it. What do you do with it? But there we go. We got some potted plants. We got five stack here in a variety of swatches and we got just one here. Oh, if you're wondering about the table, by the way, it does come with a variety of swatches as well, mostly just basic wooden ones. Same with the shelving unit. Swatches are a bit weird, but I think the, the first one is fine. We've got another little potted plant here, different shades of the vase. We've got a new hanging basket here for different kind of flowers. We've got some gardening weed killer or whatever else it may be. Variety of swatches. We have some seed pots here. We have all of this seems like clutter. My first greenhouse clutter kit. <laughs> That's basically what this is is a clutter kit. We got some more pots here to fill up your greenhouse space. We got a really big clutter object here with a watering can, peroxide, whatever that is, some gloves, some other stuff here, and fake seed packets which have been drawn at the bottom. We got some more pot clutter here. Tons of pots in this. This here is like a hanging wall light. Let me see it in darkness. So it adds a little bit of light, little bit of ambience in here, not much. I mean, I guess why do you be going in your greenhouse at night time? You're crazy. Sounds like the premise of a horror movie, but you can if you want to. We do have an extractor fan here. I actually quite like, I feel like a lot of builders will randomly really love this little fan. It's such a small thing, but I feel like a lot of people will actually just appreciate having this because we don't really have anything like this in the game. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I think this is the only one. Is it functional or not? Where time will tell when I go into live mode. We also have this thing called a green gable. So it seems like it's only at one specific wall height. So I'm going to have to bring the roof down to that height and this matches I guess the wall swatches and then of course we've got to do the roof it does come with a brand new roof by the way here it is I actually would have liked one which just has like many different glass panes like this like tons of tiny little square ones not just like stretched all the way across do you know what I mean kind of like this but square because we don't actually have anything like that in the base game we're supposed to have this which looks square but it's not so this is I guess the next best thing I mean it looks nice it just doesn't match all the windows oh is that clipping issues I see with the roof. The roof seems to be weird. Do you know what I mean? It's like weird. Can I get rid of that? That is such a shame. If I bring the roof things in, it kind of fixes it. I mean, you're supposed to do that for a greenhouse anyway. Then the roof is too tall. I got to bring that down. Feels off. Do you know what I mean? It feels better with the eaves out, but then with it out, does it only happen with that one or does it happen with others? Oh, is it just an issue with the glass ones that it leaves a gap? So it seems to happen with all of the glass ones, but the ones that are not glass, they don't 
don't leave that ugly thing there. So I guess, I guess the kit is kind of broken, <laughs> kind of. So going into live mode, the extractor fan works. So that's good. I'm saying like applause, applause, it works because usually nothing in The Sims 4 works. <laughs> I'm still a little bit miffed about this roof, like half, do you know what I mean? Half clipping off. So yeah, you can't interact with this table. You can't interact with any of the decorations other than just view them. So looking at it like this seems a bit measly. <laughs> what is here? Nothing. Oh, my mistake. We missed a storage chest. That was my bad. We also got a little storage chest here. On a slightly related but unrelated note, like it is impossible scrolling through all of the kits. Why can't EA just pay off is it Twisted Mexi who made that mod to expand the build by catalog? Why not pay off that modder to expand it? Why not add a kit filter? I just, do you know what I mean? Why not? It is so frustrating that you can't see anything. I'll be honest, I am underwhelmed and I'll tell you why I'm underwhelmed. We got three different pot things, but they're all just the same thing, which is just pots. We got four little plant things, but like that's, these are all basically the same. This five swatch one is basically the exact same thing as the other one. You know, if I I just place five down like this, boom, I've recreated it. Do you know what I mean? It looks exactly the same. So this basically isn't real because it's just five of the singular ones which you could place down anyway. This is not functional, just a decoration. I feel like they could have done something functional with it. The only functional object is the new storage thing where you can put seeds in. I just feel a bit and a bit is an understatement. I do feel very underwhelmed and I know kits don't normally come with that much and granted some of it is, you know, buy mode stuff but this you know this extractor fan bloody clips at the recommended wall height it fits very awkwardly the roof is broken this what this it doesn't even count as an object what is it if you put it on there and then remove it put it on remove it it doesn't really look that different it's literally like no different so what actually is it it's just like bloating it i feel like they should have instead given us a triangular window piece to fit right in there that would have made a lot more sense to me because real life greenhouses don't have walls on them. It's just purely windows. You know, according to google.com, like this is just like a normal greenhouse. You know what I mean? It's got windows all over it. So I don't know why they didn't just give us a window for the roof. Here's what I honestly think they should have done. I personally think they should have just given us an actual greenhouse, like a greenhouse object that you can plop down and you can place planter boxes in and maybe given us, you know, a couple of different variations of a greenhouse because this to me is not a greenhouse at the end of the day I hate the way it's clipping up there at the end of the day these are just like sims for walls to create the illusion that it's a greenhouse but like it's not a greenhouse see oh I know I'm going off on a tangent but, but the sims 4 lacks so much ambition it's killing me if this happened in the sims 3 okay if the sims 3 on the sims 3 store if they introduced this they would have made it a totally separate object and what they would have done is they would have given the greenhouse a special effect so that plants will grow faster in there or something. They would have, you know, added some game playing mechanic to it to make it a little bit more fun and interesting. Also, it doesn't come with any planter boxes. As far as I'm aware, these are the only planter boxes we have with this one being werewolves and the other two base game. I mean, we have ones that are technically locked, but whatever, ignoring those. They could have used this as an opportunity to give us a small square box. Do you know what I mean? Square boxes, which could have fitted nicely onto tiles and that could have fit precisely like within the tiles. Do you know what I mean? So like a smaller square, just kind of like this size, just resizing down these big ones so that you can easily slot them in and they fit as much as, you know, the smaller boxes. That would have been nice. I don't know why they didn't. I just feel like when it comes to ambition, the Sims team like, nope, we're not allowed. We're not allowed. And it's like, why are you not allowed? What policies do you have in your company that says you're not allowed to do what the players want? Do they have like a big whiteboard that says, dear Maxis, don't do anything that makes the players happy. Like, I'm sorry, but it's a pile of wank. It's absolute wank. So what? We got some fucking pots. A CC creator could make this. There are literally CC greenhouse packs which have a lot more in them than this and they're totally free. If one singular modder can make CC that's better quality, even nicer than this, why can't EA do the same thing but better? Why can't EA bloody, how much are they worth? Billions of whatever. Why do they not have the budget to make something a bit better and be more creative and 
just do something that's actually nice for the player. I'm sorry. It's a pile of wank. It is wank. I'm sorry. Lovely. We've got nice little doors and we've got window that pokes out. Beautiful. Really beautiful. I just don't feel like if somebody said to me, was this made by a modder or was this made by a billion dollar company? I wouldn't have thought it was made by the billion dollar company. I just realized my mic is really close to my face. I'm sorry if it sounded like I was screaming. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. On an unrelated note, guys, there is a new Coke flavor called Movement. It's by Rosalia. You know, Rosalia. This is the shit. Coca-Cola, please sponsor me. Anyway, guys, I just want to show you a CC kit, which is basically a CC greenhouse set or gardening set. This is everything that comes in this CC gardening set, including a greenhouse, including a cute little garden shed. It is a decoration only. The greenhouse is also decoration only, but you can place flooring inside of it. You can also place different objects inside of it. I'm just putting random crap down, but you can see you can then just put it on top and it looks really nice. It comes with a square or technically rectangular plant box, which is what this kit should have come with. And it's totally functional. You can pop seeds in there fine. It also comes with these two big ones, including one with, you know, a corner piece, which is nice. Also comes with this plant a pot here. So you can pop little plants in there and grow them. Comes with a nice circular bench, which I think is really beautiful and you can sit all over it. It totally works completely fine, which is amazing. It comes with this little swinging bench set thing here, which looks lovely. It comes with a hose pipe, which is actually functional. Like you can wash your hands in it, which is cool. And it comes with all these different plants and it comes with some rocks and it comes with some other decorative objects. It also comes with two terrain paints. So we've got like an autumnal one and we've got a more summery one with clovers. All of that, right, which is 100% free. And then you look at EA's kit. <laughs> do you know what? Do you see where I'm going at here? Satron seems you're so negative. No, I'm not pandering the billion dollar company. They need to sort their shit out. This is not acceptable. The Sims is not the Sims anymore. I'm going off on such a tangent. The Sims honestly feels like a passionless project. It doesn't even feel like The Sims 4. It just feels like a generic life simulation game with a Sims skin on it. It doesn't feel like The Sims to me. This is not the passion I expect from The Sims. It's not. It's not the passion that we saw in The Sims 1, 2 or 3. It's ridiculous. Even the cash grabby Sims 3 store items were better than this. My genuine honest opinion, I know you're going to buy it anyway because you want to own the whole collection, but my genuine opinion is this is a load of shite. I don't recommend it. I recommend the kit instead. I am going to try and link the kit if I remember to do so. So do I recommend the kit? No, I do not. Do I recommend this CC pack? Yes, I do. That is all I have to say. If I haven't uploaded it yet soon, I'll be uploading my review of the basement kit. So I'll link that here when it's ready. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.